Hi everyone! Welcome to day 5 of my 12 days of interactive December dailies video series. Today I'm working on day 4 of my 10 by 8 December daily album, and this is documenting celebrating my dad's birthday and also what my mom called round 1 of opening Christmas presents, um, so that was super exciting. And today's interactive page is going to feature a waterfall of photos with a pull tab, and I thought I'd show you what we're going to to be making before we dive into this tutorial. I'm starting off with the left side of this page first, and that's just going to be a page that I printed out from the Holiday Traveler's Notebook from In a Creative Bubble, which was part of Ali Edwards' 2021 December Daily Collection. I've printed this page to a bit smaller than the size of the Traveler's Notebook. Um, I've sized this down to about eight inches tall by a bit under six inches wide, um, just so that it fits on my eight and a quarter inch tall page. Um, and this is sized to fit outside the page protector for the 10 by eight album. And I'm going to turn this page into a simple pocket. But before I adhere this down, I'm going to use my one and a half inch circle punch from EK Success to punch out a little notch at the top to indicate that there is something in this pocket. And I found that the easiest way to center your circle punch is to mark the center of the top of your page. Then using a Sharpie pen or marker, mark the center point on the bottom edge of your circle on the punch. And you only have to do this once because this is a permanent marker. And now you just have to line up the center mark on your circle punch with the center mark on your page. And you should get a perfectly centered circle every time. Now, because the photos that I'm going to be putting into this pocket are only about four inches wide, I don't have to worry about optimizing all the space in this pocket. So I'm not going to bother creating hinges to line the edges of my pocket like I usually do. And instead, I'm just going to add some 3 8 inch score tape along the bottom three edges and just attach this down to my base page that way. Moving on to assembling the waterfall, I've cut two pieces of white cardstock and one piece of pattern paper to four inches wide by eight inches tall. And that pattern paper is just a neutral light background that I printed from that same holiday traveler's notebook. Um, I just purposely chose one that was light enough that I can add some journaling and stamping to it later on. To one of the white pieces of cardstock, I'm going to score first at one inch then at every half an inch after that for as many photo flaps as I have. So here I have eight photo flaps. Um, I probably wouldn't include any more than that. And I've scored at one inch, one and a half inches, two inches, two and a half inches, three inches, three and a half inches, four inches, four and a half inches, and five inches. Um, so that's nine score marks in total. Next, I'm going to apply some 3 8 inch score tape in each of those half inch sections between the score marks on the front of this uh, cardstock. And then I'm going to flip this over and apply score tape to cover up just the top one inch of my cardstock. Off camera, I've already folded along all of these score marks a couple of times and burnished the paper down just to break in the fibers a bit. Um, and you might wanna do that as well, um, just to make sure that your waterfall tab moves smoothly. Next, I'm going to fold the one inch flap over and attach that to the back of the piece of pattern paper that I've cut to four inches wide by eight inches tall. So you'll see that once that's done, I have about a one inch section of pattern paper that's um, just hanging out exposed at the bottom. And that's going to be our pull tab for the waterfall. After that, I need to create a belly band to attach my waterfall to my base page. So I'm cutting a strip of white cardstock to one and a half inches tall by five and a quarter inches wide. And then I'm going to score this at half an inch and five eighths of an inch on either side of this strip. And you'll see that once I fold along the score marks, I have a band that has an eighth of an inch gusset that can accommodate the thickness of all of my photo flaps. This belly band is going to attach right on top of the front layer of our white piece of cardstock, um, below all the half inch sections with the score tape and right up against the bottom edge of that white cardstock. So just 
applying some score tape here and making sure everything is nice and lined up before I attach this down. Once that's done, I'm going to fold these two half inch flaps on the belly band around the bottom of the pattern paper. And these two are the only points that are going to hold our waterfall assembly onto the base page. So make sure you're using some strong adhesive like score tape or red line tape so that your page doesn't come apart. To make sure everything is straight, I personally like to line everything up with the score tape liner still in place. And then um, I like to hold down the center of the page with my left hand and then remove the tape backing from the score tape with my right hand and then tack it down. And that way I know that my waterfall is straight onto the page before I adhere it down. And at this point, you should be able to gently pull your pattern paper down through the belly band. And if it doesn't pull through smoothly, make sure that you press down and burnish on each of those score marks to train the paper into this motion. And it should pull smoothly in no time. I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Angle Corner Chopper to punch this um, bottom edge of the pattern paper into a tag shape so that it looks like something that you can pull on. And now we're ready to attach our photo flaps. I've resized some of the digital 3x4 and 4x6 journaling cards from the In a Creative Bubble um, collection to 4 inches wide by 3.5 inches tall, um, just a bit wider than a standard 3x4 journaling card. And I'm arranging them in an order so that I have the reds, greens, blues, and neutral colors alternating. And I'm going to start adhering the bottom of my stack um, and attaching the bottommost card first. So just peeling off the tape backing from the bottom most piece of score tape and attaching the journaling card so that the top of the journaling card lines up with the top score mark there. And I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of my eight photo flaps, making sure that they're all lined up with each other um, before I place them down. Once that's done, it looks like this waterfall page is really starting to come together, um, but you might notice that as you're pulling the photo flaps through the belly band, they might get caught on the edges of the belly band um, where it attaches onto the base page, like just on those two hinges there. So if your photo flaps are pulling through smoothly without snagging, you don't have to worry about this next part necessarily, but if you are getting some snagging like I usually do, I find it really helpful to attach a piece of cardstock behind the waterfall assembly so that it covers up the two anchor points for the belly band, and that way your photo flaps shouldn't get caught on anything. So I'm going to punch the bottom corners of my cardstock to match the tag corners on my pattern paper. Um, this is just the extra 4x8 piece of white cardstock that we had cut at the beginning. And then I'm applying score tape on all four edges. And before I peel off the tape backing, I'm positioning it where I want it to be behind my waterfall assembly. And this part can be a bit tricky, but I'm using my tweezers to carefully peel off the tape backing from um, behind this piece of white cardstock. And some of it does get left behind, um, particularly where the belly band is. But just as long as most of the four edges are attached onto your base page, um, you should be fine. And now we're ready to attach our photos. I've sized my photos to be three and three quarter inches wide, and most of them are about two and three quarter inches tall, and that means they'll fit perfectly in the three by four spaces on the backs of each of these photo flaps. Now, some of them are a bit shorter than two and three quarter inches tall, and uh, that's just because of the ratios that I took the original pictures at. So I filled up the extra space below the photos with some word phrase stickers. And I made sure to keep most of my embellishments on the photo flaps flat. Um, and that's just because the height of this belly band is only an eighth of an inch tall. If you remember that eighth of an inch gusset that we added to the belly band. And the only exception that I'm going to make for this rule is that I am going to still use my painted wood veneer numbers um, layered on top of a plastic heart as my story number for this layout. I just like to keep that consistent throughout my album. And the wood veneer piece is thin enough to make it through the belly band just fine. 
I've also typed out my journaling on some clear sticker paper and I'm using my purple repositionable tape from Thermoweb to mark where the photo flaps end um, because I wanted the journaling to be hidden by the photo flaps when the waterfall is closed and it can be kind of like a surprise when you pull on the pull tab. Because my journaling was only about 6 inches tall, that leaves a bit of space at the top for me to do some stamping. And I'm just using the stamp set that came in the In a Creative Bubble Folio Bundle to stamp the little red house and the semicircle that says little details. Just burnishing the sticker paper down onto my pattern paper. Um, I feel like that always provides the clearest result for my clear sticker papers. And then I decided to add one of the glitter cardstock hearts to the bottom of the tag, um, just to provide something for my fingers to grip onto when I'm pulling on this tab. For the insert that's going to go inside this large pocket, I'm keeping it relatively simple and not wanting to add too much bulk to this either. So I've just cut out a piece of white cardstock to four and a quarter inches wide by eight inches tall. And I'm punching the top two corners into a tag shape again, um, just to add a bit of symmetry across to the bottom right side of the page. And I'm also adding a glitter cardstock heart onto either side of the tag to match the heart on the bottom of the waterfall tab as well. And that finishes up my layout for today. I think it's been more than a year since I've done one of these pull tab waterfalls, um, but I really should be doing them more often. They're just so fun to play with and they give me the opportunity to add more photos in a fun, dynamic way. I also love how the darker colors of the In a Creative Bubble Kit really go well with the Story 3 page of my album, and I just love how the blues and greens really work well together. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more process videos and check out the other videos in my 12 days of interactive December dailies video series. Thanks so much for watching.